Hi, I'm Peter Bryant with the Common Podcast, and I'm here at one of the many events before the uh, Dragon Con begins, and uh, I'm here at the Atlantic Skeptics Star Party, and I'm with... Maria Walters. So, Maria, why don't you tell us a little bit about what the Star Party is and how you got involved with it? Sure. So the Star Party is a cocktail party where we get to look at the stars and have drinks and learn about astronomy um, and listen to good music. Um, And I started it uh, four years ago. This is our fourth event um, in honor of um, an astronomer named Jeff Medkef. um, And he died five years ago of liver cancer. And so... um, it was the year after he passed away, um, and it was that was also the International Year of Astronomy, and we wanted to, and people were doing star parties kind of all over the country, and it sort of just all clicked into place, and I said, yeah, we should do something for a cancer, um, a cancer fundraiser in honor of Jeff. Um, and so we, we put together the star party. Um, at, at the time, we did it for, for a couple of years, we did it for the American Cancer Society. We're now doing it for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, um, and, uh, and yeah, and so we basically do it the night before Dragon Con so we can take advantage of people who are um, who are uh, coming in for Dragon Con. So Phil Plate and tonight we have Phil Plate and Nicole Gallucci um, as well as musical talent from uh, George Robb and Marion Call. So we're super excited and they basically they donate their time and it's just a it's just a great event. Right, so it's kind of, kind of like a, a double term. So it's you know, you're looking at the stars, but there's also stars here that you can meet. So if, you know, the, but seriously, because we you know we try to we try to part of the podcast is uh, bringing people out to you know having getting them to come out to cons and find fun stuff to do. Uh, and this is definitely one of the really fun events that you might not you, you know you may not find if you just look at Dragon Con. You you might miss it. So we definitely want people to to come out. This is a really good time and. You guys uh, you do a really good job with the, with the food and everything. Um, now, I, I do know one other thing before we go. Um, I do know that uh, you work, you're one of the skeptics. I am. So, so we want to talk about that just a little bit? Sure, yeah. Um, I've, uh, I've been a writer for Skeptic for, gosh, uh, probably five years now. Um, and I was, I was really happy to be part of when Rebecca kind of expanded uh, the group originally. She asked me to write for her. And, uh, and I've been uh, part of the group ever since. And it's just been it's been a fantastic experience. Um, unfortunately, I think my probably the the post that I'm most famous for was was a post that I wrote in about a half an hour about how much I hated Twilight. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I, re- I really hate Twilight. Um, but uh, yeah, so it's but it's been it's been really just a fantastic experience, and it's just a, a great group of people. Um, the skeptics do have have kind of evolved into such an incredible um, powerhouse of kind of of kind of skepticism and activism and so much more than just blogging um, and that's sort of the the thing that really is uh, very appealing to me um, is kind of doing stuff more than just talking about it and just kind of getting out there and 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 you know and helping people we've run vax clinics we've done um, you know a whole bunch of different online petitions and all kinds of stuff like that that I think is is really powerful because once you become kind of a voice in skepticism I think it's important to try to figure out okay what what are we going to do with this? And how are we actually going to combat the forces of, of, of pseudoscience that are out there? Right. And so some of our, a lot of our listeners, they come from all different kinds of, of cons and stuff because we cover all kinds of cons. Just real quick, uh, just in a nutshell, what is skepticism? Skepticism is the idea of, of basically applying reason, science, and logic to everything you do in, in life. And I think that, um, every, I always say everyone's a skeptic. People are just skeptical of, in various ways about different things. So you wouldn't go and buy a car or used car without looking at the, at the, at the report about it. Um, you're skeptical about, you know, what you wouldn't buy it on face value. And so that's really what skepticism is. It's applying that kind of logic and thinking to everything you do um, and, and looking for evidence and looking for um, science behind it. So, so trying to get people to be as skeptical in real life as they would want their lawyer to be in a courtroom. So it's kind of like, you know, you take stuff on face value uh, or, you know, you'll talk about Bigfoot or aliens or something like that. And they don't, you know, people don't seem to care so much about the proof. 
But if you were in a courtroom and they were talking about whether you did something or didn't do something, then all of a sudden the proof is all that important. So that, that's how I try to equate it to people. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And I think it's um, it's just a, a good way to, there, you know, from an everyday perspective to live your life to make sure that you're not going to get scammed out of your money or, or um, you know, or make decisions, you know, with your health that are, that are bad. There are a lot of things that, you know, that skepticism can do if you apply them to kind of your everyday life that can really help you kind of get a perspective on what the right decisions are to make. Excellent. All right, so to wrap this up, this is the Atlanta Skeptic Star Party. It happens Thursday night before Dragon Con. It's a great event. It's uh, this year it was sixty dollars, but all money, all the money goes to charity, mm -hmm. uh, Jet Met, Jeff Metcalf mm -hmm. Foundation, right? And that, and what does that help? The Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, yeah. And this year we're actually teaming up with Foundation Beyond Belief, and the and they are a national sponsor. And everything that we do, all the proceeds go to to the Light the Night Leukemia Lymphoma Society, but because we're partnering with Foundation Beyond Belief, they also have a grant from the Todd Stiefel Foundation, and so everything we do is actually being matched, so whatever we give is going to be doubled, um, so it's very exciting this year for us. That's, yeah. that's awesome. So, great cause, great event, great people. Uh, you should definitely come out, If uh, you know, next, too late this year, of course, but, sure. but next year you should definitely check it out. Tickets go on sale roughly about? Uh, tickets go on sale about a month before Dragon Con. Yeah. So, and you can find that at uh, Atlantis. at atlantaskeptics.com. Usually, it's atlantaskeptics.com/starparty. Excellent. All right, then that's it.